Okay. All right, we are live. Is it working? It's. I think it's working. Hello from Tuscany. Hello. Yes. Hi, it's just about sunset here. It's morning where a lot of you are, mid-afternoon, I, I presume, for the Americans watching. Um, Buona sera, everyone. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we are... We have a Tuscan sunset that's happening here. It'll get nice and glowy pretty soon. Speaking of glowy, look at my two beautiful women in my life, my daughter and my wife, and some of the products that they, not that they ever need assistance with glowing, but these are some <laughs> of the incredible products that help all of us. Well, no, the reason that we, I mean, we wanted to just check in with you guys while we're while we're here, obviously, but one of the things that is so interesting about the Suzanne Organics line is that, as you know, we don't use any chemical fillers. So instead of using inexpensive chemical fillers, we use an olive base. Mm -hmm. So we are Wait a overlooking. Minute. What? Yes. We are mm -hmm. overlooking. What's on the platter? Beautiful olive orchard here that you can see. We are at the incredible Villa Cozzano which is, it's on the border of Umbria and Tuscany. Literally and right on the border. Yeah, it splits the property. Yeah, a stone in the middle that splits the property. So yeah. on one side of the stone is Tuscany, on the other side is Umbria. And this was a, this home was built in... Well, and speak of the devil, Manuel from Villa Cozzano just joined oh, us join. on Instagram. Give them, <laughs> give them a follow at Villa Cozzano if you're looking for a beautiful, quaint place to stay in the countryside like this. It's it's a special little place. It was built in the 1500s. 1543, it's that's the logo. the same logo. family for all of these years. It used to be where the entire community gathered and it's stayed in his family. His, he said his grandmother started a school because she wanted to make sure that the farmers in the region had a place to educate their children. So. She and his mother ended up teaching at the school. This was where they had their, they had a shoemaker here. They had, they had the oven so the, the community could come and cook their bread here. And here it is still at the top of this beautiful room. It's obviously very picturesque. We had dinner right down here last night. See that table down there? That's where we had dinner. Yeah, so if you follow if you follow me on Instagram at Caroline Summers, you can see some of the highlights. And Bruce has been posting by it. We've we've been all over. We've, we've been, been driving posting. through, <laughs> stopping we've got some at good spam, right? Beautiful <laughs> villas and yeah. wonderful little villages, and um, it's been very very special. So anyway, we're checking in today with our. Suzanne Organics that ironically are made with olive base, an olive base. So. Here we go. Do you know what? We, we had last, what? I was going to say last night we had olive oil gelato. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Which means homemade. So they make it here. And it was olive oil gelato made with the olives from the grove. And it was so good. And I actually even poured some extra olive oil on top. They also make honey you, you actually almost honey. cried when you it tasted it. Incredible. Violet almost <laughs> cried when she tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, um, they set up what is called a, a cinema experience. So they put mattresses outside on this beautiful lawn, and they project the movie onto this beautiful old wall. So we're going to be watching La Dolce Vita tonight. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, we're just starting to get a bit of a chill. It's been very warm, high 70s. We got really lucky with weather. Yes. Yeah. So we hit spring, spring, no rain. All the flowers have been in bloom, the wisteria. I mean, we saw just some incredible. Francesca, ba Francesca Bosco says, that is my home. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Francesca. Yeah. Well, home is beautiful. Yes. I was up at sunrise this morning and I was walking around the property and I posted a couple of videos with the sounds of the birds. And last night, the frogs, the frogs were, we slept with the windows open. He has yeah. really, really nice fitted screens on all the windows, but we slept with the windows open so just to hear nature. Yeah. Yes. And we woke up to the sound of the birds. And, so nice. and Bruce doesn't remember this, but it was, <laughs> <laughs> at one point in his sleep, he went, I heard him, he goes, so fucking loud. <laughs> I don't yeah, remember I don't that remember at all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I had great. It was yeah. so peaceful. I was not 
mean, yeah. to me, it just became that. I mean, you can hear the doves cooing. Can you look at these trees yeah. over here? You can hear the doves cooing. And... and this is a working farm where they make incredible wine and olive oil and honey. And honey. So when you think of all the botanical, botanical actives that we use in Suzanne Organics, Obviously, you guys are familiar with our Manuka honey line. That, that honey comes from New Zealand. Um, but the olive base you'll find in so many of these products because we don't use those chemical fillers. So instead of saying... Uh, that Facebook wanted to end, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we have, you know, our beautiful body lotion here. The cleanser. You should have heard the... There was there was a frenzy Panic. over there the cleanser was. because Panic. when we were asking <laughs> to leave, um, we didn't have enough. Well, you were worried we didn't. <laughs> I was worried we didn't have enough, and I said, "You don't understand. I use this <laughs> every morning, every night, throughout the day. If I need to wash my face mm -hmm. after a workout, after the pool." And she's whenever. staying for a little longer mm -hmm. on the trip, so I said, "I mean, we have we have a full one," and she had almost a full one and then we had one that we brought to have on our display today so which we'll leave with violet I when we're gonna be okay mm -hmm. but again this is an olive based it has brazilian pepper tree in it um it's a rich in antioxidants rotate a little bit rich in antioxidants and it takes off all your makeup including your eye makeup mm -hmm. but it actually moisturizes your skin it doesn't strip your skin it doesn't have any sodium lauryl sulfate in it of course um, it's really a two-in-one yeah. The taking off the makeup and the face wash is really awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, and then we go in with our toner. Toner. Guess what? Guess Spinach. what the toner has in it? Olive. Olive leaf. No so way. So instead of using witch hazel or alcohol, which is what put it most, down on the thing. That's what most yeah. toners use. We use. Twist it the other way. There we go. Olive leaf okay. and willow herb. And it. It opens the pores so that it gets you prepared to receive the nutrients that you're going to have in your serums. So that's what happens next, your serums. We brought the liquid oxygen. This is oxygen okay. suspended in liquid. And like, I know I talk about the liquid oxygen. All the time. I know Alan talks about the liquid mm -hmm. oxygen. You know what it's fantastic for? after I shave. Mm. It's like this healing layer that goes on my face. I put it on every day. We can't use the H word, but yes, it's very it's, It doesn't heal. It just it's feels soothing. really freaking good. <laughs> any kind of irritation, any kind of irritation, um, if you've had too much sun, if we're shaving, if you have anything that's just acting up, on, mm. this is really incredible for that. It's great. Um, but you use it kind of like an aftershave. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Great. And then, of course, this is our ageless serum. That's hot on the market. This is our number. Yeah. It's always hot. Yeah. This is our beautiful. This is loaded with sea algae. So we're we don't have sea algae behind us. That's the one thing we don't have. But look, it just took ten years off the back of your hands easily. <laughs> it also has um, African birch, which has a lot of beautiful medicinal properties. Also, not here in Tuscany, but you can't win them all. <laughs> but it does have the olive base. Nancy Falone King says, promotes the appearance of healing. <laughs> She's trying to help <laughs> us out. <laughs> so anyway, this, this is really rejuvenating, helps restore the spring in your skin. So it gives that rejuvenated look. I think it gives you spring in your step too. Just saying. The fine lines and wrinkles. It's, it's really a beautiful product. Okay, so wait, we can eavesdrop. Jeff's down there on a business call. He oh, is walking through the trees. <laughs> Violet hates when he's wearing his swim dress. <laughs> Nowhere near the pool. <laughs> okay, and then we brought our amazing bioactive moisturizer. Again, this is an olive base. There are no chemical emulsifiers in this. No pegs, no parabens, no artificial colors, no artificial fragrance. I use it every these are, day. These are our products. Actually, this every day and every night. It has CoQ10 in it. Mm -hmm. It has argan oil. It's super moisturizing. This is our everyday moisturizer. You may use it day and night. You can switch off with so our great. other incredible moisturizers, but she's the OG. She is the she's, OG. Yeah. 
She's been with us since day one. She's yes. a ride or die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, She's so soothing. And, and two more things, yes? Oh, well, we yeah. have our anti-aging eye cream. The best. Yeah. So you need a little, the best. We need a little dab of that. So this has Swiss apple stem cells in it. We are not in Switzerland. Yes, mm -hmm. but we're Countries close. over, yes. Um, That's why I'm going there later, to help okay. you guys out, so, to help promote Swiss it. Swiss apple stem cells in this. So this um, also has incredible benefits for the improved appearance of the under eye circles mm -hmm. and fat bags. Actually allowed to say that based on the That's clinical crazy. study. Fat bags. It's such a great word, isn't it? <laughs> fat bags. Fat bags. Some days I feel like that. Yeah. Some days I do feel like a fat bag. You know, <laughs> and even then, I would never, ever say that. But I'm still eating the pasta, my friends. Yes. We are here, and fat bag or not, we are doing it. <laughs> okay. But this does, this does help with the appearance of dark circles. Um, so... We should make Suzanne time. Summers t-shirts and on the back put fat bags. <laughs> um, can you talk about the lip balm issue? The lip balm. Oh. So... For some reason, we didn't have enough of these. My dad has asked me 16 times on this trip <laughs> if he can use my, my lip balm. I, I mean, it, it happens every couple of hours in the car. Every couple yeah, of hours. Uh, he says, I'm sorry, Violet. I said to Jeff, too, I, the other day, he said, do you have some lip balm I can use? I said, oh, I have something for you. Because for some reason, he didn't have one for a while. I gave one to him. He almost cried. <laughs> This is the best gift you could give me. You don't understand how sweet this is. Oh, yeah. We have a handful of people who are having a glass of wine with you. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. That's, that's so nice. So, again, we have our olive-based products. We are in this beautiful olive orchard in the middle of... Are we in Tuscany or Umbria if we're on this oh, side? On this side, we're in Tuscany. We are in Tuscany. Yes. By the pool? Yes. Shall I run in and show everyone Umbria? Well, no, because I don't know if we'll end up with Wi-Fi. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. That's true. We found one spot, so we are here. And a lot of you um, who have been following us were asking about the last place that we stayed, which was spectacular as well. Um, and that place is called the Lazy Olive. So we have a theme here. I forgot to tell you the promo code. Yeah. <laughs> it's Olive 25. Olive 25 for 25% 25% off. 25% off. Uh. Everything on the website that's not already Maybe marked down, 25%. I did um, a post today uh, with the Lazy Olive Villa. It is on top of a mountain with, I I mean, when we drove in, I don't think I've ever seen anything. I was so overwhelmed I couldn't even speak to the owner because yeah. I, it took my breath away. The pictures in the video do not do it justice, but it's, it's this beautiful restored buildings that they took over and it's this wonderful couple who runs it, um, Daniela and Malcolm. He does all the cooking. He's an incredible chef. They have an organic garden. They have all these wonderful, wonderful farm pets. animals. Yes. Yes. They have a we pet fell, cow. We fell in love with Cindy the cow. And, and they have a pet cat, Pat the cat. Yes. And, pet dog, and Nina, Nina, the dog A Nina. few other cats. Yes. Really but cute. I mean, you talk about just turning off your brain and slowing down and mm. listening to the sound of living nature. off the I, land which is very much what we do here with these products too yeah, yeah. you know yeah. from the source to you we're getting a lot of requests to see your dress you're getting a lot of love it's on your dress it's a great it's one. So nice. yes Let me stand so up. cute yeah. my husband bought me this one for him yes Thank you. and it was like raining <laughs> when I we know, bought it I, do you want yeah. to switch with Daddy? And sure. Because sure. you're okay. going to see, he kind of matches me. This is what happens when you've been together for 37 years. <laughs> you start dressing alike, whether you're trying to... Can't wait for not. that day when Jeff starts dressing <laughs> like me and abandoning the board shorts. I got a little chilly, so I better sort of... My shirt... Wait, the shirt's so cute. Though. Sorry, guys. I'm just adjusting yeah. my hands. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, not as swap as my dad so far. Sorry. <laughs> it requires like your whole hand. Yeah, okay. I think I got it now. <laughs> All right. Um, so some other tidbits uh, while we've been here. We were, when we were sitting at the Lazy Olive, Violet and I were at the pool. We were laughing. We were sitting at this 
and it's the most gorgeous pool overlooking those rolling green hills. And we saw a few little of those mat, matty kind of bugs. But guess what I had with me? Mmm. Ah, yes. It this was, like was huge. I pulled out the outdoor body spray. If you were traveling, this is a great thing to have with you. So there were a few things that right when we arrived, you know, you're getting used to a different environment. So a few little bugs, not bad. I mean, really. Not bad, not but bad, not this time, time this of year. This is non-toxic. It doesn't have any DEET in it. So it's not a chemical, but it has fragrances in it that bugs just don't like. So you're not going to get the same level of protection that you would get from a chemical bug spray but you also aren't going to get the chemicals. So we love that. I sprayed this. And I didn't, you, you talk. I didn't notice any gnats after we sprayed it. Yeah, yeah we didn't. Do you know that? Like, I took a video of it. I'll yeah. I did of course a, I did. I did a torture did. test with that. I, you did? I just used that in the Alps for oh. really hiking a day for seven days and didn't get bit by anything. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's um, a good test. Yeah. The other thing that happened when we arrived is that the allergies went nuts. Yes. So poor Jeff was really, yeah. like, he, he was, he, he, he kind of went down. Um, but guess, guess what mama had in the circle? Mm -hmm. I had the nasal renew. Read it and renew. weep. So <laughs> nasal renew is a probiotic that helps to balance the microbiome in your nasal cavity. And in when your fat you, bags. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> For those of you coming in late, I'm showing you the view. I'm showing you what we're looking out at. Oh, and the sun is. And the sun's starting, starting to set. Yeah. There's an olive orchard Ask behind them. Uh, Francesca, I bet, knows what kind of pine trees. These are like the, the typical. The Roman, they yeah. just call them pinoli, I thought. And pinoli? Pinoli. Oh, I thought they had. I yeah. thought they had. Well, we Maybe Francesca. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You see them all over there. Yeah. So anyway, the Nasal Renew is a specific probiotic specifically for the nasal cavity. And we had some runny, watery eyes. We had some sneezing. And it, it for me, I got relief within, I, you and I both within yeah. 20 minutes. It took a little longer for Jeff. We had to give him an extra. He got hit pretty hard. But, you know, when you travel, you're, the trees have different pollens than you're used to. And that's where it can trigger some of those, you know, runny. My whole watery. childhood kept like flooding back to me because I went to school in a town called Ojai Valley, California, mm -hmm. which is all horses and cattle and agriculture. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, every day of my life I had hay fever while during high school. And I wish I had nasal renew because I Is that what they call it? Wow. Hay fever? That's what they call it. Yeah, and allergies. You know that Beth just said nasal renew helps my hubby so much, helps his snoring. Don't we all need that? Is that just a male thing that guys like snore like every crazy? I snore every now and then. I don't think I've woken up and said, so I'm so I, I had to have been, been dreaming because I don't know. The frogs, don't know. Was, the frogs yeah. he, can be, he can be grumpy. A moment or I, just the nature sound. Listen, we are all live busy, active, many of us stress-filled lives, and oh, this is really the antidote for it. It really is. Yeah, yeah. and I know, I, I know, antidote, we are blessed sorry, to be able to be antidote, here. The but, the, but everyone has access to a moment of nature somewhere. Take that time for yourself. My mom used That's to always true, say, if you want to yeah. see the face of, of God, go into nature. I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually, I got a psychic reading. And he said that Zanny was telling me that I should go into nature more. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because LA, you could, there's a lot of access to nature, but we're all just so busy all the time. Yeah. It's like well, you have to make these, time for it. All of these places that we've been visiting have these beautiful gardens. And every time Violet says, is it okay if I take off my shoes? Mm -hmm. And she walks through 
the grasses with no shoes on. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's wonderful, it's grounding. Um, it's getting the energy from the earth and our products get us closer to nature. Being in nature definitely gets you closer to nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, <laughs> so Violet, why don't you hop in here and I will take a turn. Okay. okay. Or you can go run in the grass if you want to. <laughs> okay. I want to do some earthing. I'll sneak what in a over there. Great afternoon. Uh, oh, we're just switching up here. Sun. Wow. It's going to get beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is our sunset coming along. I have my little girl here. Uh, how cute are you guys? Tammy said, I love the beach, but I think I need to add Tuscany to my bucket yeah. list. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, you don't find places like this by the beach. <laughs> Yvette says, what do you recommend for skin that overreacts to everything? Um, first of all, organic. <laughs> Definitely get organic. Um, I would actually recommend the Manuka honey products for you oh, yeah. because um, the liquid oxygen and the Manuka honey, they're all really wonderful for skin that's irritated or sensitive. Um, that's yeah, for sure. Know, when I, I use the toner every day and it gives me a flush. Very sensitive skin. Yeah. I like the fly. I feel like it's detoxifying, but I don't know if that's happening. That's what it feels like. Bruce uses a lot of toner. He loves. He uses about twelve squirts of it. Yeah. He loves it. <laughs> but, but I am one of those people that like more is better. Yeah. So. He has a lot of steps. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, reminder that the promo code today is Olive Twenty Five. For 25% yeah. off anything that's not already marked down. Olive. More than yeah, Olive 25. Yeah. So the funniest thing last night when we were, I mentioned earlier in the show, we had our dinner last night at that adorable little table down there. And they put candles around it and they came and took our, took our order. And Jeff tried to order um, a dirty martini. And they said, I'm sorry, we can't do that. We don't have any olives. <laughs> and I said, well, that's ironic. I mean, look at the olive orchards behind. But How many olive trees did they say they had? 300 something, I yes. think. But they told us an interesting fact about the olives, that it's once a year they harvest, but every other year the olives are not good. Are not good. On each tree, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so, and each tree produces enough olives to produce one bottle of oil, but oh, only every right. other year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Every other year. So imagine what this place was like in 1543. One tree, they have an oak tree over there that he said is, they have documented, yeah. it's the oldest oak tree in Tuscany? Oh no, Umbria. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was on the Umbrian side, okay. literally mm -hmm. 20 feet that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, and it's it is from amazing. Like the 1600s, I think. Yeah, I'll see if I can They're get you. Able to do a, oh, yeah, you can see it right there. Oh, I can graph. see. Oh, that's, that's it. That's the big tree. That's that, that is. Bright green one. Or the brighter green. So, you guys, should we try to go downstairs and let's go into the grass a little bit yeah. and see if we can. I feel like I need my jacket. Yes, it's been very warm, and we have literally just started feeling the cool down. Um, no, I'm okay. I'll... Okay. Well, I'm going to take my beverage. Okay. Because that's what I do. As Fabulous. Everyone knows. <laughs> Is it shorts weather or sweater weather? Sherry, kind of both. Because was, it was so warm today. I'm yeah. still in my dress from today. I literally just put my Yeah, sweater. and it's we, we just hit the evening. We had a little bit of cloud cover today. The sun is starting to starting to go down. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. It's so pretty. All right, we're going to try to go down. Bruce, why don't you take one so I can hold on to. All right. Depending on... Facebook or 
Insta, you're getting a different experience. Carla, go to our website and um, send a message to customer service. I know we have the cartridges and we'll send you one right away. I'm sorry you're experiencing that. All right. Let us know if... Hi from Nova Scotia. Oh, this is the really steep part. I'm going to go down this way. Okay. <laughs> Look at these trees. <laughs> Come up here because this is such a great frame. These are all the olive trees, the, the olive orchard here at Villa Cozzano. Let's and do that. Okay, see, see that lake there? I'll move my finger. That lake is called Lago di Mont Montepulciano. Montepulciano is famous wine area in a wonderful little hill hillside town, which is on the crest of that mountain over there. right. This lake used to be so big that it came literally all the way up to here. And Michelangelo came and mapped no, the... Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Leonardo, and Leonardo da Vinci came and mapped the lake. And what was happening is the lake was so big, but it was kind of stagnant. So um, a lot of the farmers in the area were dying from malaria. So once they mapped it, they figured out where the, some of the sources of the water were and they dried it up. But what was left was this fertile soil also because there's some volcanic soil around. And now the lake is very small, but that's why we have this beautiful valley. The Monte, uh, I'm not sure if this is the valley of Montepulciano because just over that hill is um, uh, Val d'Orcia. Valdorcha, which is a mm. UNICEF, not a UNICEF, a UN, UN, UNESCO. Oh, anyway, okay. that's enough of my history lesson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. So, where are you taking us, Violet? Should we go around to the pool? Um, no. no. I say we walk through the olive. Yeah, I don't think we can go too far there, honey. I think we're going to lose it. Well, we're, we've already lost the internet, but it's our yeah. cellular is is working. Hello from Calabria, Italy. Tiana, we're just trees. north of you. These magical trees. Has anyone ever read The Little Prince with the baobab trees? That's what these remind us of. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So again, the promo code today, you guys, is olive25. And we're talking about how so many of the Suzanne Organics products have an olive base rather than chemical emulsifiers. Here you can see how they're in rows. so healing and wonderful. I can't say healing, sorry. It makes them so soothing. The appearance of healing. And Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> soothing and wonderful for the skin. Um, and what better place to talk about nature than here? So beautiful. Stun. Wow. <laughs> so I think we can turn these around and I'll get on this side. Let's go this way. Ah. Okay, how do I do this, people? This is the, this tap your the screen. Tap the screen. No, no. There, it's at the bottom. Ah, okay. Okay, up high. There you go. <laughs> There's our All little. Right. So we're just missing good. a May May, but yeah. this is three quarters of missing our family. Missing our camellia, but um, thanks for joining us, you guys. We um, we're gonna pop on whenever we have Wi-Fi this week. So 
Um, again, the promo code is Olive25. Don't miss out. Yeah, at SuzanneSommers.com. <laughs> <laughs> My right. arm is not long enough. <laughs> exactly, but there's a little sunset yeah. too behind and there's us. There's our favorite trees. So yes. Um, right. And if you want to follow the adventure, it is at Caroline Summers, at Violet Summers, at Bruce Summers Jr. And we're posting more on our own personal stories. So, yeah. anyway. Great. Love you all. Saying goodbye from the trees. Thanks for joining Woo. us. Ciao, ciao.